Hi, my name is Bo Biden, Attorney General of the State of Delaware. I'm here to talk to you about something that's very important to me and to my office, senior abuse, which falls into one of three categories, abuse, neglect, or financial exploitation. For every one of these types of crimes that's reported to our office, five go unreported. But two million senior Americans are affected every year. And 80%, 80% of these crimes are committed by family members against their so-called loved one. We need your help. Seniors need your help. So if you suspect that anyone is affected by any of these crimes, please contact our elder abuse hotline at 1-800-223-9074. Thank you. <laughs> well, there you go. From beyond the grave, Bo Biden. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man. So you're telling me, Mr. Biden had a whole week, a whole week off, studying, prepping, getting his anti wrong, getting his drugs, and this is the best we got? This has got to be the worst performance ever. I got a little montage, and let's take a look. Well, probably making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare, we're finding we're finding providing housing for Black. Americans. The impact of, on the, the choice, the idea that they're going to, I'm not, I'm proposing that everybody, they pay, the millionaires pay 1%, 1%. So no one after, uh, I've not raised the cost of Social Security for anybody. I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and wants to get away with, get rid of, the ability of Medicare to, uh, the, to for the ability to for the us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. I, what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. No one was hurt. No one Israeli was accidentally killed, and it just stopped. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the the the, the, the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Man, oh man. This has got to be the worst performance ever. I don't know what y'all were thinking. And finally, everybody sees that the emperor has no clothes. We've been saying this from the beginning. But no, they gaslight us. They lied to us. Oh, he's okay. He's fine. Man, I could not wait to wake up and turn on the TV and see Joe Scarborough. Um, fear. Uh, just how dark of a place a second Donald Trump term will take America. Then I think it's critical that we ask the same questions about this man I love respect uh, and uh, and who's who's public service in saving this country from Donald Trump over the last three and a half years I honor and always will I think we have to ask the same questions of him that we have asked of Donald Trump since 2016 and that is if he were CEO and he turned in a performance like that would any corporation in America, any Fortune 500 corporation in America, keep him on as CEO? 
Um, if this were Donald Trump, uh, time and time again, we talked about the Goldwater. Where is the Barry Goldwater to walk over and tell Richard Nixon it was over, to tell Donald Trump it was over? And now the question is, do Democrats need to do the same thing of Joe Biden? I mean, these, these are hard questions. But the fact is, friends, failure is just not an option. Oh, my God. It felt like a funeral happened. It was so bad. And the biggest Biden humper out here is Van Jones. And even Van Jones, no, is Jover. Um, that was painful. Uh, I love Joe Biden. I work for Joe Biden. Um, he didn't do well at all. Uh, he, he did not do well at all. And he looked... You know, I'll give you the analysis, you know, kind of have the, the old man versus the con man. Uh, I can walk you through how I'm supposed to see it and say it, but I just want to speak from my heart. Um, I love that guy. That's a good man. He loves his country. Uh, he's doing the best that he can. Uh, but he had a test to meet tonight uh, to restore confidence uh, uh, of, of the country and of the base, and he failed to do that. And I think there's a lot of people who are going to want to see him consider um, taking a different course now. Uh, we're still far from our convention, and there is time for this party to figure out a different way forward if he will allow us to do that. Um, but that was uh, not what we needed from Joe Biden, and it's personally painful for a lot of people. It's not just panic, it's pain of what we saw tonight. And if I may just add... Oh, the tears of unfathomable sadness. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody see it. Live on HD. Everybody see that he's not there. He's, his reaction time is slow. We've been saying that from the beginning. Shit. We could pull out Jimmy Carter right now. Jimmy Carter is in his 90s. And he's more sharper than Joe Biden. It's not about age. It's not about the age. Jimmy Carter could come around and give uh, Donald Trump a run for his money if it comes to the debate. What? But Mr. Biden doesn't have it. We've been saying this from the beginning. It's not about the age. It's your mental. And he don't have it. He's gone. He's go bye-bye. And his only person that is championing him is his biggest cheerleader, Jill. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. Let me ask the crowd, what did Trump do? Why? Yes. Jill needs to be locked up too. She needs to be locked up for elderly abuse also. This is bad. This is whole bad. But she don't want to go home. If Joe Biden retires, she got to go home and wipe his butt. What's what? What's what? And she got two druggy children. She got the crackhead Hunter... And you got Ashley Biden, another one. So she got to go home and deal with them two, them three. So she don't want to do that. So she want to try to keep Biden on the ticket as long as possible. Do not switch horses now. It's too late. You can't put Gavin Newsom in because, again, nobody really likes Gavin Newsom. No governors like Gavin Newsom. And you definitely can't put Kamala. You sure can't put her in. Listen, first of all, what we saw tonight is the president making a very clear contrast with Donald Trump on all of the issues that matter to the American people. Yes, there was a slow start, but it was a strong finish. And what became very clear through the course of the night is that Joe Biden is fighting on behalf of the American people, on substance, on policy, on performance. Democratic lawmakers watching the debate were worried uh, worried about the president's performance. One said it was a, a disaster. Another called it a train wreck. Those are Democrats especially worried that Biden did not punch back on Trump's lies. Uh, listen, people can debate on style points, but ultimately this election and who is the president of the United States has to be about substance. And the contrast is clear. Look at what happened during the course of the debate. Donald Trump lied over and over and over again, as he is wont to do. But the but president of the United States was important. not able to, to put, make that case to Donald Trump on the stage tonight. I mean, you debated against then 
Vice President Trump, uh, excuse me, Vice President Biden four years ago. And he was a very different person on the stage four years ago when, when you debated him. You must, I mean, that, that's certainly true, is it not? Anderson, the point has to be performance in terms of what a president does. A right, president but, but, who but incites an insurrection against the Capitol. No, no, but I, I got the point that you're making about a one and a half hour debate tonight. I'm talking about three and a half years of performance in work that has been ex historic. But Whether is that it be the man, the man who we the saw on the guy, stage the other tonight? Guy, is that the, the person other guy you see on the in debate meetings every stage, day? The person that you saw on the debate stage that has, for the, the last three and a half years, up until today, performed in a way that has been about whether it be in the Oval Office, negotiating bipartisan deals so that we have an infrastructure, a real infrastructure plan where we're putting trillions of dollars on the streets of America to upgrade our infrastructure. Now, all you straight black men out there, if you've seen this performance and you're still going to stand in line and say, I'm going to vote for Biden no matter what, something's wrong with you. The only thing that can save Joe Biden now is Obama. Obama got to come out and do a fish fry because, you know, black people love a fish fry. Ms. Watts, yeah. I have your lunch. Thank you. I want you to check on it to make sure it uh, it meets your approval. Oh, oh wow. Okay. That looks pretty good. Yes, it does. Now, so you got the catfish. Yes, sir. And the hot sauce. Okay, I'm ready. The good news about my lunch deliveries, mm -hmm. you don't need to tip. Thank you. Yeah. Ms. Monroe. Yes. Here is your lunch. Oh, my favorite fish. Oh, and fish. you got the fish. Got right. My name is Barack Obama, and I'm your lunch oh, really? delivery person. <laughs> is this Ms. Bailey? Yes, Mr. President. How are you? I'm doing great. Make sure that is what you ordered. It's presidential, so I'm, I'm well, sure it was what I wanted. How you doing? All right, how you doing? Who are these lovely young ladies on the screen here? That's my daughter, Shandria. She's a valedictorian of her high school class. They should come right there look on the wall. <laughs> She's a comer. So you must be doing something right, Mom. I am. So when you're not working, what do you like to do? Go shopping. Go, go store to store. Shoes. I love shoes. Shoes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let you get to lunch. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Catfish fish fry. Every black woman loves a catfish. The hell with the policy. Let's have a party. Let's have a good old fish fry for Joe Biden. Most political events are tough to get into. They're expensive. There's a dress code and you have to be on the list. This event, this is America. But at Congressman Jim Clyburn's Fish Fry, everyone is welcome. Started in 1992. I said to my staff, I said, look, we're going to have a fish fry. And we're going to make it affordable for all these people that come here working. And they said, well, what's affordable? I said, it's free. And so that's what started the fish fry. Anyway, if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor, hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And then, you knuckleheads, get your ass off my lawn. Yeah.